um, the number two crop damaging pest in the world and the number one in North America right now. It causes millions and millions of dollars of damage in not only corn, but tomatoes and cotton and sorghum. Um, it's found on 123 hosts so far. It will eat anything it gets its hands on. It is hard to believe that an insect so small can create so much damage. But that's the case with the corn earworm, considered to be the most costly crop pest in North America. UK student Alana Wright works with a genetically engineered form of the nudivirus. The nudivirus is a sexually transmitted disease that naturally affects corn earworm moths in some state. While working at Paratex, a small biotech company in Lexington, Wright, along with her mentor, Kendra Steele, a Paratex research scientist, created the genetically selected form of the insect STD, resulting in 100% sterility, which will overtake the naturally occurring virus in nature. All of the Bt crops that farmers are planting to kind of fight pests um, that cause other sorts of damage, the helix, they are able to overtake those crops because there's no other competition for pests. Bt corn controls many insect pests, but the corn earworm is resistant, and without competition from other pests, it's an all-you-can-eat buffet for the corn earworm. Farmers are unaware of their presence until the ear is exposed. When they're little, little larvae, um, they sneak through the corn at the very base of it and they, they eat and grow and get bigger. But you won't know they're there until you actually dehusk the corn. Right. Paratex was co-founded by UK entomologist Bruce Webb, who happens to be Alana's academic advisor in the biotechnology program in the College of Agriculture, Food and Environment. He says he's excited and encouraged by the corn earworm project and believes it has a lot of potential. And so we think this is a way that, that we can pr bring in a safer and effective way to control these pests. And that would help us you know, reduce the, the burden of pesticides in the environment. Webb recruited Wright to work part-time at Paratex, which also helps fulfill part of her degree requirement in the biotechnology program to get research experience either at UK or with a private business. Alana has done nothing but impress those she works with. Mom is a pretty special student. She came to the program you know, with exceptional qualifications. I happened to be her advisor, her academic advisor as well. Um, she was in my genetics class, and so I've experienced her firsthand over, over a number of years. This is actually my first, ex my first project with insects. And Alana was very, she was a good find because she's actually worked with insects in a previous lab. So right on day one she came in and she knew a lot more than I did about insects. So she really brought that. Alana is special. I want to be doing research. I want to be on the cutting edge of everything. UK obviously has a huge reputation throughout the state of Kentucky for being one of these flagship land grant universities that can provide students with what they need. The paper Alana wrote about the project won her the North American region of the Alltech Young Scientist Program. She will now compete for the global grant prize of $5,000 and a fully funded doctorate. From the University of Kentucky College of Agriculture, Food and Environment, I'm Jeff Franklin reporting.